Yo, yo, yo. Mich pan seco tlok pa. Mis saludos y respetos for bless. Greetings to all my people out there. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Yo. What's up? Where my Dodger fans at? Yeah, that's right. That's what we're going to talk about today. So before I kick it off, homie, you know the ritual. Lean back, relax, kick up your feet. Spark up your chorito, open up your pistol. Enjoy the show. Come on, let's get it. I just came across this article straight to the point. I'm disappointed. Those of you who keep up with sports, we're in the postseason. Dodgers baseball. San Diego Padres, Los Angeles Dodgers are, are battling it. The postseason playoffs and last year we know it didn't end well for us Dodger fans and it seems like I've been noticing the San Diego fans being really aggressive where they want to build the rivalry if I recall the rivalry is with the San Francisco Giants but now lately I mean let's correct me if I'm wrong but going back Two, three years from now, all of a sudden, the Padres want to, like, like step up and call us rivals. And last season, okay, I'll give them that. But we know. We know. There was wrong calls being made by the umpires. And sometimes it falls back on these dudes, man, with their crazy-ass strike zone. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get here and just voice my opinion my little frustration of this unfortunate move that these guys are pulling man san diego padres organization i don't know who's selling these tickets but it does not look good for them because hey to every action there's a reaction and we all know there's consequences when it comes to life so let's get into this shit like that. You guys are side by side knowing what's going on. So I'm a little lost. And you know our emotions sometimes get the best of us. And I just find it unfair because we're not doing that to them. As a matter of fact, I was just at a Dodger game. One of the last promotions. I got a Kershaw bobblehead right here. My boy. Yup. We we're playing against the Padres. And yeah, they were there, but I mean, everybody's, you know, rooting for their team and this and that. And when Machado and Tatis come up, we bow them. Hey, but uh, we're never uh, intercepting tickets or forbidding Padre fans uh, from, you know, coming to Dodger Stadium. It's just a game. We're all allowed. We're all entitled to go anywhere we want. It's a free country, right? So let's check this out real quick, man. Okay, so, whoa, really? Check this out. In an attempt to keep the sea of Dodger Blue from infiltrating their home turf, the Padres have implemented strict ticket restrictions for games three and four, a move that has caught the attention of both fan bases. Man, this is weak, man, really? Come on, man. If, if this is not a form of cheating, I don't know what you want to call it. But come on, man. I mean, it's a free country. We're all entitled. It's a game. It's a national game. And I believe that this is not cool. You know, because, hey, let's keep it real. Sometimes teams get the home advantage when you have everyone and their mama rooting for you. What is that build when you know... You got motherfucking cheerleaders in the background or behind you. It builds confidence. And when you have confidence, you strike your best. You do your best. What happens when you do your best? You win. Hey, come on. What's really going on right here, man? These dudes. Honestly, I think San Diego Padres are scared. And you know what? I think uh, they tried to do this last year. The rivalry between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers is about to hit new heights as 2024 MLB playoffs are in full swing. 
With the National League Division, NLDS set to showcase these two NL West heavyweights. The Padres are pulling out all of the stops to ensure that Pepco Park remains a fortress of San Diego pride. <laughs> They're scared. Well, <laughs> motherfuckers are scared. Come on, man. In an attempt to keep the sea of Dodger Blue from infiltrating their home turf, the Padres have implemented strict ticket restrictions for games three and four, a move that has caught the attention of both fan bases. Forget about it, man. Estos vatos se salen del G-string, man. The Padres' recent success, including their wild card series swept off the Atlanta Braves, has electrified the city of San Diego. Now as they prepare for matchup against their long time division rivals. I don't know about rivals, man. You about those ain't, ain't a challenge. The team is taking proactive measures to keep the energy local. <laughs> wow. Come on, man. Not against the mighty Dodgers. No. Man, you know what, man? Well, let me tell you something. Once we're done, the game is over with, and we eliminate the Padres. I'm going to make a video and laugh at you, Batos. Sadio. Starting uh, with Game 3 on October 8th and potentially Game 4 on October 9th, ticket purchases for Pepto Park are restricted to residents of San Diego County in Southern Orange County, Western Arizona, Las Vegas, and Baja California. Restrictions. Oh, no. Really? Wow. But you know what? When there's a will, there's a way. Come on, mighty, mighty blue Dodger fans. If you're a Dodgers fan from Los Angeles County, don't even think about buying a ticket. Your order will be canceled. Woo-wee! <laughs> Híjole! Me vale verga. Damn! Is that right? The Padres have drawn a hard line, ensuring that the crowd at Pepco Park is packed with Padres faithful fans hoping to prevent a repeat of previous playoff series where the Dodger fans show up in Fords, transforming the stadium into the into what felt like an like an away game for San Diego. And see, that's the thing, man, that Dodger fans travel. We roll in packs. And I say we because I'm a Dodger fan, but I'm going to keep it real. I have not yet experienced going to a different stadium, but that's on my to-do list for next year. And let me tell you, man, uh, sometimes you look at the stands and you look around and you swear it's a... I mean, you could almost say... It, it, it sounds like Dodger Stadium. It looks like Dodger Stadium because everybody in the crowd is wearing blue. <laughs> These fools are scared, man. This tactic is, isn't new. Team acro teams across sports have tried similar strategies from the Philadelphia 76ers blocking Nick fans in the 2024 NBA playoffs to the Florida Panthers keeping Maple Leafs supporters at bay during the 2023 stanley cup playoffs okay i was almost about i was about to say that is this legal or illegal i mean shit talk to me it's a calculated move one designated to give the padres every advantage in what is shaping up to be an epic postseason battle the dodgers and padres have one of the fiercest rivalries in baseball and this series will only fuel the fire. On one side, you have the Dodgers, a team that's been a dominant powerhouse winning the NL West year after year. Come on, forget about it, talk to me. On the other side, the Padres, a team uh, brimming with talent that been waiting for the moment to dethrone the Northern rivals now with the uh, playoff set this matchup feels more personal than ever yeah well i don't know 
for them she is it fair to restrict ticket sales to padre fans it's a no-brainer for years dodger fans have flooded peco park whenever the two teams face off turning what should have been a home field advantage into an awkward mix of cheers and jeers implementing restrictions the Padres are doubling down on their commitment to make Peckle Park an intimidating place for opponents to play especially in October I seen that on the game they were playing against the Braves however not everyone is thrilled hello uh, Dodger fans known for traveling well see this as an unfair move one that prevents them from supporting their team during one of the biggest series of the year some have even called it a desperate attempt by the Padres to level the playing field knowing that the Los Angeles Dodgers supporters can easily overrun their home ballpark <laughs> yeah, yeah. from a business perspective through it's a savvy move by the Padres organization selling out the stadium with local fans creates an electric atmosphere one that can make a real difference in a high stakes playoff game it's a strategy that has worked for for the teams in the past including in the 2022 playoff matchup between the two teams a series that saw San Diego shock the mighty Dodgers in four games. As the series unfolds, the atmosphere at Petco Park will be a crucial factor. The Padres want their fans to be loud, passionate, and most importantly, present. And if that means a few unhappy Dodger fans can snag tickets, so be it. This playoff baseball, after all, every advantage counts. Hey, what can I say, man? It's all good, you know, but hey, I believe in my Dodger team. I believe we have one of the best rosters out there. We have some sluggers. The pitching has been a little up and down throughout the season, but you know what? Nothing's impossible. I have faith in the mighty Dodgers, and we're going to take it. No matter the obstacle, the challenge, no matter if this is an uphill battle, we are going to conquer the San Diego Padres. And I'm going to do a follow-up on this uh, once we win, man. So I'm going to have my bottle of Don, Don Julio. And I'm going to be celebrating because I think blue. I bleed blue. I breathe blue. Uh, all my Dodger fans, por favor, hit a like. Leave a comment. Or, man, come on. Let me know what you think, man. Because... This ain't cool, but hey, you know what? It's all good, man. We got this shit. Can no. Well, with that said, my name is Manny. I'm the Jaguar man. Much love and respect, ladies and gentlemen. Have a blessed day. Rato. On the highway. Right away. Right away. Right away. Hit the beach and highway. Yeah. Hey.